What is going on, you guys? School Boy Lou back at it again with another video. So today's video is start an, we're gonna start an NBA news type of situation here. So basically, or even just sport news in general. Any sport news that I see, I'm gonna dedicate a video and do a couple topics of the news that's happening, and we're gonna talk about it and see what's going on. So um, we got three topics right here, and the first one is Charles Oakley is charged with assault trespassing after he gets removed from the Knicks game. So this is just basically an update of the last video that I made. If you didn't see that, I'm going to drop the link in the description if I remember, so just check that out. So basically he got charged, he got arrested for that whole situation. Basically from what I heard, he was trying to talk to the owner of the Knicks. I forgot his name, Is like, forgot, but... He was trying to talk to the owner, and um, they didn't like that. They stopped that real fast, and um, he didn't like what happened, so he started trying to fight, basically throw hands, and um, 10,000 men had to take him down. That's that's basically what happened. Oh my god, like right now, I'm watching this recording, and this recording from like the dumbest spot it could have recorded. Like this was all madness happening right here. You're going to see I quit this game. All right. Next topic, the Celtics have minimal interest in Melo and prefer George or Butler. So, like, this topic right here, I like it because it's showing me my Celtics are not going to try to settle for a player like Melo and get rid of the talent that we have for Melo. Melo isn't worth that, and that's no doubt to, I mean, that's no, you know, no shade to what Melo is as a player. He's a great player. But he's not worth what he has on him right now. His age, his contract, and what he can provide for a team. And um, he's just not worth it. If we can get him without getting rid of Jay Crowder, Isaiah Thomas, you know, players like that, I think it's worth it. But the money that he has and all that, you can just go. It's better to go for Butler or George, especially George. George would be a perfect power forward. You could try to get him to go power forward, even though he does. He said he doesn't like it. You, it's better, okay? I like I like the fact that they're not going for him and they're trying to do go a different route because Melo isn't the way. All right, next topic. MJ says the Warriors' 73 wins are meaningless. He's not lying, okay? This topic is very simple. They didn't win the championship. They that means they're 70. Every win that they got in the regular season, it doesn't matter. Okay, at this point, all it is is just an award. It's an award. That's it. Okay, it's like oh, you got 73 wins, but you didn't win the title, and you lost in the 3-1. That's all it is, and it's it's just it's meaningless. Okay, when Jordan won 72 games, they won the championship that same year. Still, they won the championship, so it meant something. It was worth it. It was a record season for them, and um, it was cool. But um, that's gonna, that's my topics, okay? If you guys enjoy videos like this, um, please tell me I can make more just like this one, and try start my sport videos and have a dedicated sports video. I kind of want to start dedicating days. It makes it where I know what I'm gonna do that day, and I know what's gonna happen instead of just doing like random bajaji every single day, which it doesn't really matter. I could do that as well, but just let me know what you guys would prefer, and uh, we'll do it that way. To, I already talked about it. I'm really trying to go in on my YouTube channel right now. I'm more motivated than ever. I say that all the time, but I am. But um, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And go check out some of my other videos. Bye.